She's made this trip more times than perhaps she remembers. The Queen on her way to open Parliament. Pomp and circumstance. The most traditional of ceremonies. And even they pretended to bury the hatchet. Well, almost. But actually, the Queen's speech was unlike any we've heard because the Prime Minister has so few MPs he can command that almost nothing announced today will become law, or at least not before a general election. Even so, she read out the list of what Boris Johnson wants, as though it matters. My Lords, pray be seated. No escape from the looming events at the end of the month. My government's priority has always been to secure the United Kingdom's departure from the European Union on the 31st of October. And then the Queen previewed what Boris Johnson plans as the big things in the manifesto for the election he desperately wants. Measures will be brought forward to support and strengthen the National Health Service, its workforce and resources, enabling it to deliver the highest quality care. New sentencing laws will see that the most serious offenders spend longer in custody to reflect better the severity of their crimes. Now, I guess who wasn't impressed? Mr Speaker, there has never been such a farce as a government with a majority of minus 45 and a... And a 100% record of defeat in the House of Commons, setting out a legislative agenda they know cannot be delivered in this Parliament. The Prime Minister promised that this Queen's speech would dazzle us. On closer inspection, Mr Speaker, it is nothing more than fool's gold. Yes, the insults were being traded as though the election had actually started. The Right Honourable Gentleman recently said that he was daunted by the prospect that he might actually become Prime Minister. Well, I have to say that he is not alone in that fear. Uh, so is most of the opposition to judge by uh, their actions, most of the House of Commons and indeed most of the country. And I can give him this reassurance, this consolation, that I intend to do everything I can to prevent uh, that uh, from happening. And then the rhetoric was turned up by the SNP. I am deeply saddened. In truth, I am, like many across these countries, I am frightened. Frightened of the future that this Prime Minister and this Government are planning for citizens across Scotland and across the United Kingdom. The term crisis, chaos, catastrophe are now everyday terminology in the United Kingdom. But the Lib Dem leader said she would back some kind of a solution via a general election so long as Boris Johnson allows what he said would only happen over his dead body, namely a Brexit or Article 50 delay. The benches opposite are clamouring for a general election and we're ready to give them one. All they need to do is sign a simple letter yeah. and secure an extension yeah, 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 to Article yeah, yeah, yeah. 50. Well, at least they're cheerful, even if those left behind know they can't govern, can't get a Brexit deal, but can't yet find a way out.